It has become one of Cleveland's most dangerous neighborhoods, but today the message in Glenville was peace. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is in the newsroom tonight, and Deb, it was a peace march right down 105th. That's right. The coalition called Peacemakers Alliance says it intends to bring peace and safety back to the neighborhood. They want kids to be able to enjoy life and to stop living in fear. East 105th, near the corner of St. Clair, the heart of Cleveland's Glenville neighborhood, once one of the city's more affluent areas, community activists say the neighborhood is now a hotbed of violence and criminal activity, where intimidation and fear run rampant. They're rallying to make it safe again. Members of the Guardian Angels, Boys and Girls Clubs, and Mare I Can, all joining together to form the Peacemakers Alliance. Y'all need to make these streets safer for y'all so that y'all don't got to worry about gang violence, intimidation, or drug dealing so that y'all can walk these streets safe. We're here to let them know that they have someone here that's on their side. The bad guys aren't the only ones that have influence in these communities. We have influence too. The Peacemakers Alliance is led by News Channel 5 sports analyst Reggie Rucker, a former wide receiver with the Cleveland Browns, a positive role model for the young people of Cleveland, a city he says is in need of a parent and guardian summit. But someone needs to call it because it is time that we stop this now and that we get on the right track, that we get some education, we get some discipline in these schools, and we give these kids a chance to learn, a chance for a better future. Now, the Peacemakers Alliance is hoping the community will get on board with them, corporations, philanthropists, and just as important, parents. Deb Lee, News Channel 5. Deb, no doubt about it, it's something that is needed, and hopefully someone will step up and get the job done. Absolutely. They want the whole community to get involved. It's going to take a whole village. Thank you very much, Deb.